Welcome to Padlet, a collaborative tool for student responses. Let's start by logging in or setting up a free account. Padlet can be used for free. You can have three Padlets at a time, so I just delete them. They can also be saved as a PDF to record the work. Now let's make a Padlet. Start by choosing one of their mini formats. There's Canvas, Timeline, Grid, Stream, Wall, and maps. I'm going to start with a grid. Give your Padlet a name. Choose an icon if you wish. You can change the wallpaper, and there are lots of options. You can change the font. And you can choose other settings according to what's comfortable in your classroom. Students can add their responses to the Padlet by clicking the plus sign and simply entering their response. They can add pictures, videos, links. Their name can be displayed or you can choose in the settings to have them post anonymously. Responses will stack up like a grid. Let's look at some Padlets I've already created. This first one is a lesson on the food chain. So I was able to deliver my lesson using the Canvas format so I can connect all the parts. Students simply had to follow the instructions and guide themselves through the lesson. The next Padlet was also in Canvas style. This allowed for student responses. After a virtual field trip through a forest, students had to list producers, consumers, and decomposers and connect them to the proper space. When they add their answer, the answer gets placed at the bottom of the Padlet. They simply click and drag it 
to the appropriate space, press connect, and it's connected to the proper category. There are so many ways to use Padlet to make your activities more engaging. Now, go give Padlet a try.